Hello and welcome to my new tutorial video of Adobe Illustrator. In this video you will learn how to create retro text effect which is totally customizable, or editable. It's super easy and looks attractive that can be used for posters banners and logos. So without further ado let's get started. First make a new project of any size you want. For this tutorial I have used 1200 by 1200 pixels artboard. Now select type tool or press T, for shortcut, and type anything you want. Resize and choose the font that you'd like to work with. Select Selection Tool and select the text. Then open Align Plate and, choose both Horizontal, and Vertical Align options. Make sure that you have selected Align to Artboard. Not Align to Selection. Now Align Text at the center of the Artboard. Select Text and set the Color Mode to None. Because the text should be transparent here. Don't worry. I will change the text color from Appearances option. If you could not find the Appearance option, just go to Window tab, and select Appearance. Now select Text by hold and dragging the Selection tool. And inside Appearance window, you can change the fill color of the text. I have already selected some colors, that I am going to work with. You can choose, any color you want. This time we need to make a background. So first select the Rectangular tool, or press M for shortcut. Then drag over the whole artboard. Now we need to send the background to back. Select the background. Right click on mouse, select arrange, and select send to back. Now select color picker tool, or press I for shortcut. Then select the color you have selected for background. Then click over it. Now go to object and select lock and choose selected. Now the background is locked. Open Appearance select the text. Change the fill color with Color Picker tool. You can customize the color from here anytime. Now copy the text layer by dragging it to a new layer. Then select the bottom layer that you have copied. Use Color Picker tool and change the color. Now click on Effects and go to Distort and Transform and select Transform. Change the move slider to 1 pixel horizontal and 1 pixel for vertical. Now make copies as much as you want. Remember, more copies means more depth. I am making 12 copies here. You have to remember how many copies you have made. Then press OK. You can increase or decrease copies anytime. Now look at the text. It already added a depth behind the text. Now make another copy of the bottom layer and select new layer, and click on the arrow. Now change the color of the new layer again. Click on transform, and just change the copies. First I have made 12 copies. Now I have to add more 12 copies. 12 plus 12 is equal to 24. Every time you add a new depth, you have to add the number of the copies you have made first. Now repeat this process to add new depth like I'm doing right now. Copy the layer, change the color, add more copies, and repeat. The text effect is almost ready. Now we just have to add the shadow and it will look more attractive. To add the shadow, do the same thing that we did before. But this time we have to add more copies, for a long shadow. Remember, keep the color of the shadow slightly darker than the background. Otherwise it would look unrealistic. Here I am making 100 copies, for a long shadow. The text effect is ready. It's totally customizable. You could change any color independently from appearance window. You could change text. And also the font.
You could also change the proportion by using free transform tool. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more videos. Give a thumbs up if you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching.